all to the World Time Channel. I'm your host for this lovely afternoon, Emma A. Pemberton, and today we have an especially exciting edition planned for you. The person who will be joining us today is that infamous author, that incredible personality, that often misunderstood astronomer, Mr. Nicholas Copernicus. So how did the time travel go? Good, I parked the machine out back. Did you turn the e-brake on? Yes. Ah, let's begin. Now, Mr. Copernicus, will you kindly explain to us your place and time of birth? Of course. I was born on February 19, 1473 in Torin, Poland. And tell us about your parents' background, all of yours. Gladly. I was born into a wealthy family. My father was a copper trader, and my mother was a merchant. My name at birth was Nikolaj Kopernik. I prefer to go by my Latin version of it. When I was only 10 years old, my, father, my father's time had come, and my beloved uncle became my guardian. In 1491, just before the discovery of the Caribbean, I began my education at the University of Krakow. My fields in which I studied were as follows, astronomy and mathematics. I also received a very, I also read a very influential book of my time called Astronomical and Mathematical Tables by Johannes Regimentanus. Based off my studies, I composed my own version of this wonderful book. Thank you, that was lovely. Now, can you please tell us about your discoveries in astronomy? Ah, uh, yes. During my early career in astronomy, I began to research about the Ptolemaic, Ptolemaic theory and became interested on why he believed that the Earth would be at the center of our galaxy. And I started my own research on this particular subject. I soon found far too many holes in this theory, and as a result, I composed my own. I hypothesized that rather than the Earth, the Sun is at the center of our universe, and thus I wrote a handwritten report on it. At first, I only provided it to some close friends and relatives, but when they continued to pressure me to let the world in on my secrets, I finally published a book on my theory. But by the time the comments rolled around, I was already on my deathbed. I passed away on May 24, 1543. Wow, that's an extremely tragic story, Mr. Cody, but it at least made it less heartbreaking. A thousand apologies. It's just you've been one of the few people who have asked me about my life and background, so thank you. Well, you're welcome. In conclusion, you were, and still truly are, an amazing astronomer, and I still can't believe that you proved the great Ptolemy wrong with your incredible heliocentric model, and that you didn't do it in malice of forethought at all, but you did it in compassion and love, and that is what our world needs more of. Couldn't agree more. Thank you, Mr. Copernicus. It's been lovely having you. You would probably, you should probably go back, back door because you might startle someone else. Yes, and thank you. And goodbye, and have a great rest of your life. Goodbye. Farewell. Well, that's it for this edition of the World Time Channel. Tune in. It was a lot of take. I knew it. <laughs>